Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to clip a, uh, an image to a shape in Adobe Photoshop. This is a technique that, uh, that I didn't know uh, for a long time when I first started using Adobe Photoshop and I know that it would have been helpful for me to know and use. Uh, I, I, I did this the wrong way um, for a long time. So I'd like to, uh, to share it with you guys. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we need is, is a shape and an image. And I already have my image pulled up here. I just opened it up in uh, Adobe Photoshop. As you can see, it's just some mushrooms. Got from a stock uh, photography website. So I have my image. <clears throat> the next thing that I want to do is make my shape. So I'm going to click on my shapes. I'm going to do something a little bit better than just a square. Uh, but I'll do a couple for you too. So I'm just going to click on my shape in my toolbars here. And uh, I'm going to select uh, a circle and ellipse. So I'll press uh, shift and hold down uh, and click and drag so that uh, the circle is uh, even. And what I'll do is, uh, as you can see, it, it put this shape on top of my, uh, my image here. But what I want is that, uh, that shape layer to be below my image and directly below my image. Because the next thing that we're going to do is select our, uh, our mushrooms or your image. And what you want to do is go up to your options in the top right here and click and it's pretty easy um, there's just create clipping mask it says you can do alt uh, control G on your keyboard for a hotkey for that okay so you just click on that and uh, that should clip it to your shape and it did uh, since my image was a little bit above here I'm gonna have to drag it down into my shape but um, if you have that layer selected you can do that pretty easily Okay, as you can see, um, my image is way bigger than my shape, so what you can do then is click on your shape layer, and you can make it bigger by pressing Control-T to transform, and you can hold down Shift and click and drag out one of those corners, and you can make the shape bigger, or you could do the same thing with your, uh, your picture and make it a little smaller, okay? So uh, that's basically it. I'll just quickly uh, show you how you can do it, with how it works with other shapes as well. So... If we, uh, I believe if we just go ahead and delete this shape, I, I think it will leave your image alone. Okay, yeah, it does. Okay, so we still have our image. <clears throat> so I'm just going to drag that back to the middle. And I'll just, uh, okay, let's do this custom shape tool. And I'll just press shift and click and make a, a shape. Ah, okay, so I have an arrow in there right now. Uh, I'm not sure that's going to be that much fun. So I'll go up to the top. There's an, uh, you can see that you have an arrow. Let's do a weird, the weird blob thing, or you can choose any of these, really, if you want. Okay, I'm going to delete that shape I just made, so I'm just going to drag that down into the trash can, and I'm going to make this weird blob that we just selected. All right, so I'm going to press Shift, click, and drag, and you really don't have to hold down Shift if you want on these things, because it is, it doesn't really matter, does it? It doesn't have to be even. Anyway. So, I'm going to do the same thing I did before, make sure my shape is below my image, directly below it, and then I'm going to click on my image, go up to that options in the top right, and make a clipping mask. Or you could press uh, alt Control g to, make, uh, to clip it there. Alright, so I just did it a couple times there just to show you that it works with different shapes, but that's, uh, that's pretty much it. This is a nice technique to use for publications, books, that sort of thing, or uh, posters, whatever. You know, you can use it for the web or a lot of different things. Anyway, I hope you learned something here. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed it by clicking like on YouTube, and uh, please follow me on uh, uh, Twitter and like me on Facebook, and uh, thanks for watching.